Italian rods and pistons are one of the world's leading performance piston and connecting rod manufacturers. With computer design and modeling, robot-aided automated production line, latest technology 5-axis CNC machines, plus multi-step quality control processes, they have one of the most advanced production facilities of its kind, combined with high-quality materials that are 100% Italian-made. Their products can be found in everything from European touring and rally cars to top speed and quarter mile weapons in the Middle East and America and high powered street cars across the globe. They have products to suit everything from Lamborghini V10 and Aventador V12 for big power turbo builds, McLaren V8, Ferrari V8 twin turbo and Porsche and Audi 5 cylinder, Mercedes and BMW V8 as well as various other European engines. They can be found in builds from major builders such as TBK Motorsports, ES Motor and Brill Steel Motorsport, just to name a few. Their product range also includes Ford with Barra, Focus and Sierra Cosworth and they also do pistons and rods for Dodge Viper V10 engines, with Calvo Motorsport making over 2,000 horsepower. Their Japanese car product lineup includes Mitsubishi 4G63 and Subaru EJ engines, as well as Honda and Toyota, including 2JZ and GR Yaris. Their Nissan products include VR38, powering some record-setting cars, plus Brill Steel's 2000 plus horsepower shop car. And now, Platinum Racing Products in Australia is helping develop a new range of RB products. IRP pistons and connecting rods come in Silver Series, Golden Series and Platinum Series, with price and power capability increasing with each. The company was founded by Francesco Erigo, experienced in both racing and mechanical engineering. Me is, uh, is Francesco, he's owner of Italian RP. I founded uh, Italian RP in 2014. Okay, the company starts with clutch and flywheel. We continue with rods and after with uh, pistons. With the piston, we start with small engine. Uh, after, uh, we go directly in uh, Lamborghini Huracan. E we do custom piston. We can also do also fast production. Sure, we, we, we ask more money, but we can also do piston and rods also in two weeks if customer want to pay. Development at Italian Rods and Pistons starts with reverse engineering the factory parts to know what parameters the design engineers have to work with size-wise. This computer model is then used to develop their own double bridge piston design and their I and H beam con rods. The design is a constant juggling act between weight, strength and material used. The goal is often maximum strength while staying the same weight as OEM or better. All of this affects price and is why Italian rods and pistons have developed their silver gold and platinum line for both pistons and connecting rods. Once the design is complete, various prototypes will be made and tested before the final production version is programmed in. Pistons start life as blanks. Golden line are forged and platinum line are billet forged. They are first milled. Platinum line pistons are sent off for an extra heat treatment process after this stage. The robot arm loads the five axis CNC machines. After the first stage of machining, a QR code is added, which enables tracking and cataloging at every stage of production. They are cleaned and placed onto a conveyor belt by the robot arm and it's on to the next stages of machining which initially includes valve reliefs and drilling for oil ports. Every step requires zeroing and checking of measurements to ensure precise quality control. The final stage is profiling the side of the piston. Something many people don't realise is the side of a piston is not straight and it is also slightly oval. 
It is curved as various parts of the piston expand at different rates depending on the thickness of the material behind it. Essentially, the aim for the side profile is to be straight at operating temperature, enabling a better and more consistent piston-to-bore ratio. Quality control measurements are also taken at this point. The piston is then ready to be sent off for heat treatment and for golden and platinum line, the galvanic coating, which is a form of localized hard anodizing. It then returns to IRP where they apply their anti-friction coating to the piston skirt. It then goes through the final automated quality control checks and a report is made for each piston. The pistons are then stored in an electronically controlled and catalogued stacker that enables parts to be safely stored and easily accessible. Piston sets are then boxed up with rings and gudgeon pins before being sent out as required. Connecting rods start life as forged blanks, sourced from the same place as some fancy Italian car manufacturers get theirs as well. Machining is a multi-stage process across multiple machines. Heat treating is done externally, but polishing is done in-house, as is all of the quality control checks. Like pistons, conrods are stored in an electronically controlled and catalogued stacker, enabling stock to be found and sent out quickly. More information on the product range can be found online. Italian Rods and Pistons already has a large and diverse product line, with dealers across Europe, the Middle East and North America. A partnership with Platinum Racing Products not only led to the founding of Italian Rods and Pistons Australasia, but the advanced development of parts for the RB family of engines using Australian expertise. So after having a good look at this product and realising they didn't do any of the RB stuff, but they did SR, 4G, 2J, all that sort of stuff. They also did a whole heap of Lambo stuff, all the exotics, all the Porsche, all the top end stuff. I thought, how can we get involved with this RB stuff? Create an IP, we needed to go and design it, R&D it, and start from scratch with it. But we wanted to put some Lambo into the RB and bring it up a generation. So we started. I haven't had a phone call for an RB under a thousand horsepower in God knows how long. So with the RB, we decided to just forget the entry level. We decided we're gonna cut the silver and start making the silver with the gold to entry level the IRP range at a thousand horsepower. And then you go up from there. Silver starts off thousand horses. We go up to 12, 13, 1400 horsepower with the gold. And then the platinum is like the race version, ultra light, pushed to the max, 1500 horsepower, for example, for an RB28. And then we've got RB32 stuff here. Yeah, you can go up to the two or 3000 horsepower as much as you want to go and push a steel rod anyway. Pistons, the sky's the limit. But we are circuit racing a lot of top end RB28s, which is where that mass is critical because they've got to endure 11,000 RPM for a long period of time in a 30 year old engine. So a lot's got to happen, which is why we decided to bring in Peter McDonald from PMC Race Engines to help us define that platinum range and get it to where it needs to be for a competitive future of world time attack and circuit racing, which is going to continue pushing the limits and cracking more records. So yeah, we're at that stage now. My job has been to improve the race piston design. They've done some incredible work with Lamborghinis and McLarens and all the good stuff, but they didn't have the experience with an RB. That's why we're in Italy. Herman was, is dedicated to making sure that that product is as good as it can get. And he knows how fussy I am. And he's asked me here for that reason, to make sure that these things are ready to sell. Modern machinery, technical people, the engineers are so eager to help make a better product and they're passionate. That's the thing, the Italians are passionate. Now we want to do the best kit for RB. So he come here, we stay here two, three days, we develop a new model of RB for, for the piston and the rods and soon 
we airmen can sell in the market in the market australia or everywhere everywhere so not only did we convince these italian guys to make an awesome rb product with some awesome new forging molds we own the ip for the rb it also eventuated into a relationship which is now called irp australasia so we own the sales and marketing for italian rods and pistons through australasia and uh, obviously we carry the whole entire range and as you've seen from the rest of the video there's absolutely everything covered all the jap stuff all the euro stuff getting into the american stuff i mean it's it's a global market and we make it all available and all the stock that's available in any of the other warehouses in the rest of the world uh, available through irp australia and prp is the dealer for irp australia